Greetings, or Rahul Bat, as we say in our language, Miss Matia. So this is episode 10 of Ask Us Anything. Um, this series has only got three more episodes to go, so make sure you get your questions answered. The rules are simple. You like the question you want to be answered, and it gets pushed to the top. You can like your own questions, but remember, subscribe, yeah, hit the notification button so that you can be kept up to date with any content and anything that's happening. Remember that documentary is coming at 100k subscribers, so make sure that you share, spread the word and, you know, just make it that we get to that 100k so you can get, you know, this, this documentary. It's amazing. All right, so as usual, we just want to give newcomers a quick summary of what Wusabat is. Wusabat is our culture as Nuwapians, Sabians, and um, what we do is share the doctrine and the information by Parnabab Yanun, most known as Dr. Malachi Z. York. He's the author of some 1,000 books covering everything mm. under and above the sun. And um, yeah, he is the person that has the answers. We are student teachers and our job is to share the information and do our best to answer your questions. But you also have the opportunity now, if you would like to put a question directly to him, um, you can go to our website, unitedsabiansworldwide.com and scroll down to this section where you see Q&A with Yanun and you can click Q&A with Yanun and then ask, um, ask him any question that you would like answered, okay? For a limited time, so mm. get your questions answered. So for all those who were watching the Thoth video of him being Tahuti and, you know, we see the comments, um, people saying things like, if he, if he was really Tahuti, he would have built um, many cities. Well, he has. He built three cities, Egypt of the West or Tamare, um, which, you know, was just one of three, um, also including the ones in New York and... Um, um, other parts and this scroll called the sacred wisdom of Tahuti mm. goes in and he explains how he is Tahuti in that so oh yeah for those that have been asking about um, the, the garms the you know the, the caps and the t-shirts and the jackets that we wear you can buy all those from us here in the shop mm -hmm. and um, we give a shout out to a brother called Nubia Designs. Um, you can find him on Instagram. Um, there you go. You can find him on Instagram. He's got his website and Facebook, etc. So that's the brother in America as well that you can um, get the, the, the garments from. But we have them here. Everything you see us wearing, you can get here at nashat.co.uk. N-A-S-H-A-T.co.uk. Should be in the comments anyway. All right, so let's get to it. Mm. See what questions we have for today. Right, the more I read, the more mystery surfaces. It seems to be no end to peeling back the layers to get to the truth. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it does say seek knowledge from cradle to grave. <laughs> and this is why it's not just as simple as you being dipped in water and you're born again and that's it mm. you're going to heaven um doesn't work that way you do have to do some work you do have to study and you know knowledge is vast and when you say the truth that's the reality there is only really one truth um and one of the favorite sayings of the master teacher is don't believe me check it out and truth it's is truth. truth so yep. truth is truth mm. so yeah keep digging and looking until you find the truth. And when you do find the truth, it will resonate. And 
truth won't have any more like doubts. Mm. You'll be like, yep, that makes sense. It sits well with me. Sound. It's sound. Yep. Yeah. So um Sabat takes you from right knowledge, right wisdom, to right understanding, which leads to sound, sound right reasoning. reasoning. This has got to be sound. All right, cool. Next question. Um, thank you so much for all you do. What scrolls do you recommend to teach me how to become spiritual and how to gain my health back? I'm done with religion. It's been bad for my health. Uh, yeah, um, you know, I'm glad to hear it. The first one is this one because we call this your pocket companion. Mm. Um, fast track your spiritual and conscious journey because it, it gives you, in a nutshell, and recommends other books by the master teacher, partner by Blanon, that you can then start, you know, on your journey with. So start with that. Um, there are many, many scrolls. Um, what's the second part? Yeah, the health part. Yeah, that's a good point because um, there are many things that people do in religion that are actually bad for your health. Mm. Um, like, like, for example, in Islam, the fasting um, and the constant, like, you know, putting water into your nose and washing your hands and all types of, you know, different hours and the fasting. Sometimes they don't drink water. I'm just using that as an example to say that you're right. There are different aspects of religion that can be bad for your health. Um, the fact that, you know, you can believe in things that don't make sense and you're for years maybe thinking, how does that make sense? How does, you know, um, how does a man get made from the ground? How does a woman get made from a rib? How does a man um, live in a well? And, you know, the story mm. of Jonah for like three days. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, where are the unicorns? How do snakes talk? Mm. Um, dragons. Dragons. There's so many things that can play with your mental, you know? So, yeah, it can be a, a health hazard. Um, yeah, everyone's been asking about you. you know, where, where, where have you been? Yeah, I went to the motherland, Ghana. So beautiful. I mean, I recommend anyone that hasn't been to Africa to link up with a friend, make... Um, do, do like a, a group thing, so you know, a group of you can go out there and enjoy and you, experience. Yeah, experience a beautiful land. Okay. Right, next question. Thank you, Wu Sabat, for making these videos available for free. It's hard out here right now, otherwise I would support financially. I will get there one day. Yeah, it's all about your intentions and you can manifest it. Um, for us, it's, it's, it's really not you know, about the financials, although it helps, mm. but um, it's about, you know, reaching you and um, helping you to, to find your way. You know, um, I don't know if you want to... Yeah, we're, we're about spreading the truth of the Master Teacher. I mean, he came for us, so yeah, we're, we're just about spreading the truth to our people, those that have lost. We've all been under a spell of self-hate, ignorance, lack of knowledge, so what's about is the game changer. There you go. All right, so once this 6,000 years expires, will there be evil again on planet Earth? Um, well, the, the point is to try and remove it this time. Um, you have to realize that the hybrids that have been causing the chaos on the mm. planet are the ones that have to be removed. So once they're yeah. removed, um, yeah, we should see harmony and peace on the planet. And that's that's the whole point of the the renewal of our 24,000 year history and cycle. Mm. So that's the intention to remove that evil um, from the planet. But it all remains to be seen, all right? Um, yeah, they've been removed forever this time because the time has run out. Okay, um, thank you so much for responding to my question, giving me clarity. I'm most appreciative. Yeah, thank you for your questions. Without your questions, we can't mm. answer them. So, yeah, thank you. We appreciate you. Um, can you please talk about what some call candle magic? 
I grew up with people lighting candles using herbs and oils and incense and a lot of intention. Do these rituals really work? Is it safe to pray to whatever deity you like? Is it dangerous or wrong to do so? Right, so the thing with, yeah, rituals do work, but you need to know which rituals mm -hmm. and, um, you know, which, which candles to use, etc. The master teacher, Panabab Yanun, does give us, you know, rituals, like healing rituals, um, where you can, you know, use like <coughs> blue candle, get mm -hmm. some cinnamon and honey, and, you know, you concentrate on the area that you need healing and so on. However, other people do use different color candles and they do rituals to try and hurt people and things like that. We don't partake mm. in any of that. And when you say, is it safe to pray to whatever deity? <laughs> no, we, that's the whole point. You have to know who you're communicating yeah. with and be specific. And it's normally for us to our ancestors because they're connected to us and they will answer you. This is why people don't get their prayers answered mm. because they're praying to the wrong people, right? Yeah. My sister wrote a book in it, well, why no help from above? Yep, why no help from above? Because you're, you're dialing the wrong you're telephone done. number. Yeah. And it's dangerous um, to do it in the wrong way and, you know, channel your energy to mm. the wrong entities or deities. Can't wait until the official channel drops. <laughs> we can't wait either. <laughs> Don't worry, it's in the making. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're preparing a good meal, you have mm. to take time and get the right ingredients. That's it, that's and it. It's got to be seasoned <laughs> right and everything's got to be like, yeah. And when you, when you get it, you're going to lick mm. your fingers, you know. So, yeah, we, 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 we're looking forward to that too. Absolutely marvellous. I love these sessions. I feel like I'm home. Well, that's good. We hope you are, um, you know, you are at home. Wu Sabat is about that. It's about us feeling the love, mm. the energy, that vibration. Um, each one share one. It talks about genetic doctrine. So that's it. Your genes are... Yeah, DNA <laughs> yeah. explosions and that. <laughs> that's so it. It's all good. Um, greetings, student teachers. <laughs> Thank you for endarkening us <laughs> once again. My three questions are as follows. Yeah, I like the fact that you're saying in darkening now, mm. because as we say, being enlightened is not the one. Yeah. But anyway, it says, my three questions are as follows. Given that sounds and tones are vibrational frequencies that can heal certain problems, I know the same principles must apply to colours. If so, then is there any information of what certain colours mean? Also, is there a correlation in our food and their colors yes absolutely absolutely um i'm just going to show you quickly if i can find it um because some of these questions that you ask are answered um are answered in here and um in our book so give me a moment to quickly unless you want to i think this science of, of and he of um in here Science of healing as well, and Master Tisha goes into the different colours. Yep, he does. Um, yes, colours create moods, moods create vibrations. Mm -hmm. I can give you from the top of my head, um, but I'm going to also show you because we have that in the book. Um, so the different colours, such as green, green. <laughs> imagine that, <laughs> synchronisation is healing, yeah. white, spiritual, yeah. so is blue. Yellow is in intellect. intellect. Yeah, keep going. You can, um, and then obviously your environment, the colours that you have, say, in your room, um, give off a certain vibration mm. and frequency. So, um, yes, to answer the question, and um, yeah, I'm just trying to find. Oh, here you go. So, in the book, in our book, you can see that it actually gives you the different colours right here. So. Like I said, red projects or encourages desire yeah, and evil. Yeah. Blue is a highly spiritual mood. Yellow reflects intellect or a total state of consciousness. Green is a most divine mood reflected mm. from the heavens and the mental plane. 
black reflects supreme, supreme balance. balance, and white, the state of purity of mind and soul. Brown or grey are very negative moods. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, in addition to mental and energy mastery, you should practice positive thinking, mindfulness and meditation. So there's a section in our, in our book um, where we speak about spirituality and we go into the soul and the spirit and so on. So to answer your question, yes. And then you, when you look at certain um, foods, um, you're right. You know, the master explained that people on the planet are either land food eaters or seafood eaters mm. and certain foods that have certain colours, generally um, things with red are good for male, things with green are good for females. It doesn't mean that either um, gender can't eat the others, mm. but that's just a kind of a general rule. So yes, um, there's a science that you can actually practice where certain foods um, your body will tell you if they are agreeable to you you know so when you eat things you should mm. study how your body feels or the mm. effects you get from them so that um, you can then see if it doesn't agree with you you eliminate that and you know some experimentation um, well you can try the um the, the dr sebi diet um, diet as well yeah Okay, that was your question one. Question two, um, always envision, what can Wu Sabat teach us about the moon and or earth being hollow or having caverns, bases that hold life, etc.? Can you go into three to four minutes detail on the predator beings, why they have dreads, <laughs> the hunting weapons, where do they come from? Do they visit us? And so on. Okay, yes. Um, the caverns exist. Mm. Um, we have the master teacher, Pana Babi Anun, put out a, a, a scroll called Shambhala and okay, Agatha yeah. many years ago that explains everything to do with, you know, the caverns and the beings that inhabit them. The entrances are from different parts of, you know, the globe. Um, from the North Pole to the South Pole, through the pyramids, pyramids mm -hmm. through South Grand America, Canyon, yeah. the Grand Canyon, there's m many places. Mm. Um, and he also went as far as telling us the beings that live in the caverns. Um, and he also put out a calendar, which we've shown before in one of our videos, you can go back and look at that. But you have beings like the, the Deros, um, Duanes. Yeah, the, the, the Deros are quite, mm. they look like, they've got like elephant um, mm, trunks, trunks yeah. they're quite obese. Um, and then you have the Teros, which are like the cone heads that you've seen in, in you know, movies. You have, as you said, the Duanes. Duanes. Um, the Duanes are like quite small, very hairy. Hairy, yeah. Um, their leader, Sinclair, mm. they study Shakespeare. Shakespeare yeah. um, <laughs> Then you have the Flugerods, you have the Donakil, you have um, um, yeah, Maccabeans. Yeah, um, there are many, many different species um, that you have in the caverns. But, but the predator one, I think they, um, in the calendar also, they came down in 1952 and they met with um, Truman. But because of their appearance, they had to get other beings to speak on their behalf. Mm. But they, they um, if you look at, there's a, a scroll the master put out many years ago in the 90s called A Man from Planet, Planet Risk, yeah. where he shows you and gives you details of some of these um, these these predator beings. Mm. And obviously they made the movie The Predator and you look at the, the drawing and um, it's exactly the same, same as, yeah. you know. And why they have dreads, um, I'm not sure, not sure no. really, because um, he hasn't expounded on that. But yes, yeah, so the predator is real. They, they come from different places like Andromeda. Andromeda yeah. um, you also have the shaggy beans as well, you know, Sasquatch, um, Bigfoot, Yeti, um, Yeti mm. you know, so yeah. Um, I think we've answered that. I think we did, we did three to four minutes. He actually <laughs> specified how much time he wants us to go in. But yeah, get man from Planet Risk. Yeah. Um, 
works. Um, Sam's of Yanun, that's going into a lot of the extraterrestrial stuff as well. Yeah. Shambhala and Agrita, yeah, so many stuff. Just come down and then we'll hook you up. Deep Brown 5744, keep up the great work, guys. OSM, thank you. As we say, Tawukum, thank you Ta all. Tawutak, yeah. Tawutak. <laughs> Okay, this one looks like a, a long one. Mm. Can you talk more about the planet risk? Not sure how you spell it in the correct way. It's R-I-S-Q, not K, but you're mm. close, very close. Um, and it's beans. The tradition, or I guess cultures, the foods, mm. the people, <laughs> are they physical humanoids like us? Do they have thoughts like us? Are they also fallen or in a state of amnesia? And as you mentioned, Dr. Malachi Z. York is from risk. From what I'm understanding, a being of his calibre, I can't, I can't understand why he would descend to Earth, a prison planet, a planet that imprisoned him from the accusations. I've seen it's crazy what they did to him. Yes, so mm. the master teacher explained to us even in those um, references we gave, like Man from Planet Risk mm. and the calendar, it gives you an explanation of the beings on Planet Risk and on some of the audios that you can find mm. on YouTube. What he says is that they are as real in their realm as we are real in our realm and they function and do things the same way that we do. Mm. And um, so, but there are different classes of of being so it's like saying riskians it's like saying um for a simple example it's like saying londoners because everyone who lives in london would be a londoner mm. and everyone who lived on risk would be a riskian or let's say everyone on earth is an earthling but within that you have different categories or a hierarchy of beings so you have those beings that have elevated to a very high state and they're known as Ethereans, right, who are pure energy beings. Now, they have elevated to a point where they can personify and come down and go back at will, yeah? So they can mm -hmm. lower their vibrations and personify in the physical and go back. Um, others can't do that. They can only you know, remain in, in, in risk or, you know, they're different continents as mm. well. So you have, um, I always forget one of them. But Zarantu? That's the one I always forget, so okay. that's good. So <laughs> Zarantu, Kusmusta and Donoria. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they're different continents and different beings reside on there. In terms of what they eat and things like that, um, mm. he hasn't gone into detail. Mm. Um, but he, he also says that they, they do procreate and have offspring, you know. So, um, but yeah, that's a question that a lot of people wonder about, you mm. know, what, what it will be like. But uh, most of us are not from risk or, you know, you'd be dropped off where, yeah, where you were really from. originated yeah. and came from, you know. So not everyone is going to go to risk. The beings that go to risk are very high, high um, elevation of development. Remember, there's three suns there. <laughs> yeah, different atmosphere. Yeah. But he did mention that um, Jimi Hendrix is mm -hmm. from there, oh, yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, yeah. certain people mm. that have come to the planet. Um, there was somebody else, but that's the name that com mm. comes to mind. You can find that in the scroll, My Brother the Extraterrestrial, Extra yeah. yeah, which we don't have with us. All right, I hope that's answered your question. Um, yeah, and they're not like us. Do they have thoughts? Yes, they do. Uh, they're not fallen mm. um, and haven't lost or got... They're not in a state of amnesia. amnesia right. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, the second part you said about... Yeah, the reason he was... He's, he was sent to come here mm. to help find the seed of the, the Natharu, right? Which are the beings that are from there. Um, and that's his job. His job is to come and sift amongst the people on the planet to find those original um, true seed mm. of, of the Natharu. And yes, his presence also means that 
it's a renewal of our planet and our culture and everything, a 24,000 year renewal. So the, if you imagine the powers that be that don't want to lose control, mm. they, um, his, his presence means that they, they've got to go. So, um, and unfortunately, anybody that has come to this planet who is teaching um, upliftment mm. um, of, you know, taking humanity to a higher consciousness because the, the beings that control the planet right now that don't want us to evolve and elevate, they benefit from you being dumbed down because, you, you know, you're just like robots, mm. the walking dead, and they can basically control you. Yeah. So anyone that comes to raise your consciousness and uplift you is going to mean they're going to lose out. That's the end of their rule. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why they're trying to, um, you know, keep him incarcerated. But um, we know that truth is truth. Truth will always prevail. But um, yeah, if, if anyone wants to do any further re um, research, um, you can research Corintel Pro. So that was a program that was created by J. Edgar Hoover. And that program dealt with the rise of the Black Messiah. So if we don't believe in the Black Messiah, they do. Mm. They knew that the Black Messiah was coming to, uh, to, to raise the, um, the Black consciousness back to its original state. And, and once, then, once they got back to our original state, we will be a threat to them. Yeah, so they were looking and still looking, looking. for who that is. Mm. Um, and that's one of the strategies to, you know, try and um, defame and, um, yeah, any anyone that they think may be that okay so um and the thing is because some people were saying on the um tahuti video that if it was really tahuti you know think you have to think you we don't have the the mind of these elders we don't know what their strategy mm. or their plan is or what you know what the outcome is going to be from certain things that are happening so we can't actually say why did he do this or why did he do that. He knows why, mm. and um, you know we just have to do our best and wait and and see. Who owns this universe? Hmm. Um, the Watchers, our overseers, known by many names, Pan Guardians. Tharu. Yeah, mm -hmm. Parnatharu is one of the best names. Um, they call them the guardians of the universe or guardians of the galaxy. Um, they're the highest supreme beings. They are the owners. Um, but when you say this universe, as you know, there are many universes. Mm. Um, seven of them are mentioned in the holy tablets. And so um, that would be the answer for that question for now. I bet any other religion won't say, ask us anything. <laughs> In fact, it's the exact opposite, and I am a Christian, <laughs> smiling, shaking my head. Only a fool despise wisdom, love learning and expanding my mind. I don't get that anywhere else. Keep doing what you're doing, challenging our realities that have been handcrafted. I love it. We love it too. Yeah. Um, yes, and, and that's the reality is that in church, in, you know, these religious mm. institutions, they in fact say that you're blaspheming if you ask questions. Um, but the question you should ask is, who gives you your intellect mm -hmm. to be able to put a question together to even ask God, Allah, or any of these deities? Like, if they're in control and they know everything, then there shouldn't be any problem with you asking questions sure. and I shouldn't be able or we shouldn't be able mm. to think of a question that God doesn't want us to mm. think of mm. because if, if, if we are able to think of it then he's allowing us to ask That's it, it. Yes, because right. he says you have free will right and so um, in church they ridicule you the reason is because the intercessors or the people that try to stand between you and God mm. they don't know the answers right. So when you put them on the spot, instead of saying, like we say, we don't know, we can go and find <laughs> out or ask somebody who does know, they turn the tables on you and mm -hmm. say, you're the troublemaker. Mm -hmm. There must be something wrong with you. 
Um, you, you have no faith. Yeah, you have no faith. <laughs> you know, um, you need Jesus. <laughs> All that kind of stuff because they, they, their ego and the pride won't allow them <laughs> to say, I don't know. But there's nothing wrong with not knowing. That's it. Yeah. You know, the man who knows, um, what's the saying? The man who knows, knows that they know no, nothing. Nothing, yeah. You know, so you should always be in the state of humbleness and able to learn. And that's how you actually progress. So I'm glad even as a Christian, um, you know, you, you find that here we free your mind so you can ask us anything. And um, somebody said on the comment on one of the previous videos that you shouldn't trust or you should be careful or mindful of people who say they can, uh, uh, they've got the answers for everything. Mm. But there's a slight <laughs> difference because we say, ask us anything. Yeah. We don't say we know everything, mm. you know. So you have to be very careful with these subtle people that try and take mm. you off. Yeah. So always feel free to ask your questions. And that's why we, we did this series. And um, you've got three episodes left to ask your questions. So get them in. All right, um, let's move on. I believe you because my spirit says, okay. Yeah, that's good because your intuition, your inner being mm. will speak to you. And you just got to learn to um, trust, trust that inner voice if it's telling you the right thing to do. And that's a good way of discerning what is... Like we say, your spirit is holy, mm. not the holy, not the Holy Ghost, mm. <laughs> the Holy Spirit, yeah, the pure spirit. So yeah, trust if it tells you the right thing to do. Um, jumping at and, any time, uh, and, and we've yeah. always said that, uh, the, or the Master has always said that, you know, don't believe me. Do your own research, and that way you find that for yourself. There's other, so you, you're. You're using that to confirm what the master teacher is saying, and other mm. sources to confirm what the master teacher is saying. So yeah, it's not based on like, oh, Malachi says, Malachi says. It's, it's yeah. not about man worship. It's about researching information in that way you know as an individual for yourself. It's yeah. about your own soul. So yes. that's what it's about. You are ultimately responsible for your own soul. Yeah. The question is, what have they got to hide? Mm. If you haven't got anything to hide, then why can't we ask you anything? That's it. You know, so let's yeah. keep it moving. <laughs> um, thanks so much, beloved family. Oh, I missed one. Um, yeah, thank you for delivering us knowledge about the truth, peace, love, and light. Dolphin girl. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, the dolphins are our parents. Yeah. Um, so, you know, and if you go near dolphins, like, they look at you like, the master says, they look at you like, we wonder if you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they, you know, if you got that, that positive energy, they will come, come to you. I swam with, with some when, when I went to Jamaica. Yeah. Beautiful experience. Okay. Ooh. That's good. <laughs> That's good. And I hear that they were banning, like, because a lot of women were giving birth near dolphins. Oh, okay. And they started to um, ban that if you do some research mm. into, because a lot of women, like, the dolphins would help them to, you know what I mean, um, deliver their babies and stuff. <laughs> Okay, uh, Melissa Newbill, DY4KY. I'm so delighted to become part of your channel. Learning about my people has... I have always been willing to learn so much more about my history. As a child, I have seen spiritual things. It could be understood by my family, but I understand that I one that was one chosen to be able to do so listening to you and learning the meaning of your teaching is truly a blessing to come across after so many you to really get true meaning of reasoning and why um thank you mm -hmm. i'm glad you're delighted i'm trying to make i read the questions exactly as they posted yeah so um forgive me if they're not coming across in a, in a way that's making sense but i think yeah, what you're experiencing, um, in, in, in most families, there, there are, or maybe normally there's like one person who yep. <laughs> is looked at as the outcast or the, black the crazy sheep. person. Yeah, the, yeah they, the black sheep. The black sheep. Um, and, and yeah, when, when you think different or experience mm. different things that go against the, the norm, um, you know, people try to shut you down or say, you're, you know, you're crazy or whatever. So... If you're in tune with your inner being and 
this resonates with you, then That's it. you're amongst good company. Mm. Um, are all races welcoming Wusabat? No one wins the race in racism. All races are welcome. All See, races are welcome. Universal information. And, you mm. know, it's if you... If it resonates with you and That's you it. have no problem with it, then yes, you you are welcome. We we say on our website, um, no one wins the race in racism, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. So where were we? Yeah, all races are welcome. Who built Stonehenge and how? Nephilims. I'm fascinated and have a deep hunger for more knowledge. Thank you. I do know that, like the pyramids, um, Stone Edge is one of those locations that was useful in ancient times, mm. and it was built by extraterrestrials. And if you look at where most of the the monuments and great wonders of the planet or the world are, they are situated on ley lines, and yeah. there's a magnet magnetic grid, and you know they they correlate and connect in some way, shape or form. Um, I do know that, you know, um, the Wiccan religion and people that practiced Wicca started to use it for... Um, Druidism. Yeah, for mm. Druidism. And, you know, this is where Druid music comes from because that's tied into Wicca. And, you know, you have people like the Beatles um, yeah. who were... Uh, but really, their music was originally from from Druid music, mm. and um, Alistair yeah. Crowley, Madame Lakavasky. Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of people use, you know, these sites to to, to do different things. Um, some of them negative, mm. and obviously some some positive. But that's something that yeah, we can look into for for more information for you. Um, I don't know if about the Nephilims, but the, the word Nephilim just really mm. means those who came Should down who mm. fell down. So. Yes, in that sense. Um, yeah, you said you're fascinated and have a deep hunger for more knowledge. The, the knowledge you're going to get, excuse me, in um, Wu Sabat is non ending. Mm. 76 trillion <laughs> years of information, affirmation to information. So I would advise to anyone who is interested in learning more is to. Come down. Yeah. Come down, yeah. join our classes, mm. um, buy as many books and scrolls that you can get hold of. Read, read, read. Study, mm. study, study. Teach, teach, teach. 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 Yep. All right. Um, okay. Thank you for all you do. I have always been religious, but because of this channel, what scrolls do you recommend that I focus on to learn how to be spiritual and to get my health back? I've been religious for some time now, and all I did must learn how to eat bad. All I did most was how to eat badly and listen to these stories that never made any sense. I'm ready to be different. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, and, you know, we keep saying it, get our scroll to get you started mm. and then start your journey in reading. But remember, reading and putting it into practice is what matters. It's not just about reading, reading, reading. It's about applying mm. the little that you've learned. Um, so yes, if you're ready to be different, then join us. You, can, you can just go to nashat.co.uk, hit on join us. It depends where you are in the world as well. Um, we'll let you know the nearest um, community our, one of our communities nearest to you, and you can visit and get involved. Okay, given that, given that they saw we have past lifetimes and we reincarnate, incarnation after death, why am I remembering this specific incarnation on Earth? Well, um, you know, we come back here to do something, we have a purpose, a mission, something we have to do or complete. And maybe that's why you're remembering this incarnation. Um, you know, that's something you will find out because it's really personal to mm -hmm. you. Um, and yeah, there, there could be a reason or purpose and you've got to try and work out what that purpose is. And the fact that you're on this channel is 
you know, showing you that perhaps this is something to, to help you on your journey um, to finding out who and what you are. Most definitely, yeah. If you've come across this channel and you're thinking, you're talking about reincarnation, yeah, this is the place to be, definitely. Mm -hmm. Someone says, more constructive, relevant questions like this. Fred Hampton, 3899. Yeah, I, I must say as well, um, we've seen the questions getting more, more, um, what's the word? It's raising mm. the, 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 um, the standards. Just, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so it's constructive and relevant questions. So yes, thank you for that. Um, Mr. F30, amazing knowledge. Thank you. Thank the master, Panda Bab Yanum, Dr. Sure. Malika Azi York, because this is all by way of him. Yep. All right. Wusabat is African culture. I'm South Sudanese. I like your teachings. Please text future you have to visit Sudan. I don't, that bit went off. Please. Mm. Oh, next. Please, the, I don't know. It sounds like future. The next time you, in the future, sure, yeah. you can visit, visit us in, in Sudan. Sudan yeah. We'd love to do that. Mm. The motherland of humanity. That's, a, that's true. Yep. Yeah, study Neolithic people, the original people. Absolutely. Nal Valley, yeah. Napata, mm, you know, Monroe. the Patarites, Moro. That's, yeah, that's all us. Um, the best episode so far. <laughs> um, oh, that was episode nine, right? He said the best episode so far. All right, thank you. Um, they can get better. The questions you ask yeah. make the episode, so keep asking. Finally, the truth. Well, this is good <laughs> feedback. Um, that's user N NE3PH2KP2N. Yeah, thank you. As we say, Tawat. All from the Baba Yanun, the master teacher. That's it. Yeah. So, so you um, the bank. And then the next one says, thank you, sir. And then uh, Melissa New Bill again, DY4KY. Yes. Uh, I think that's meant to be astral projection. projection. Yeah. Astral projection is something i done as a child, started at the age of four. This true blessing be on your channel. I don't know what that says. I see, I see, I see. Ashe, Ashe, is that Ashe? Oh, Ashe, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, these are the things you're supposed to be um, nurturing. The ability to be able to astral project and be aware and control mm. it and come back to your body. But you have to be careful because they are also um, disembodied entities and, you know, spiritual um, entities that, if you don't know what you're doing, mm. you could get trapped. So this is why you need to have spiritual guidance, master, a yep. spiritual master that will guide you on these types of things. Thank the dear one, truth. Okay, that's Gerald's Wayne 4745. Student teacher, can we have something special for the master's birthday upcoming next week, such as a live Q and A, Q &A. or something of the sort. Thanks for spreading the knowledge to the world. Finally, it's our time. Sure talk. Mm, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we're looking to it. We're looking to it. We're not, we can't promise anything because um, it is a day of sadness for us mm. because the master is not with us. Um, so you know, it's, it's bittersweet for us. We're, you know, we're, we're, we're grateful that he's still alive and still with us. However, um, you know, like on that day, we, we don't feel like celebrating yeah. much um, because obviously he's not with us. But, you know, we, we will see what we can do. Um, watching from, where's that? Zuzu Malawi. Mm. Okay, that's great to know. We're, we're reaching far and wide and... Um, Wusabat is going to reach the four corners, four corners as the master the said. Earth, yeah, as the master mm -hmm. said. Um, and remember, you can help by sharing. Just share the news, share the good news, um, subscribe, and um, yeah, stay alerted. 
question, is there ever going to come a time where humanity can come together in peace uh, is, or is it impossible until humanity raise up and go against the elite? Uh, is it impossible at this point? Most definitely, mm. this is what's happening now. This transformation, this dimensional shift. Um, new cycle. New cycle. Yeah. And um, that's what it's about, getting rid of, you know, the old ways. Remember that every single religious group says that when the truth comes... False things perish. All false things will perish. So if they believe that and accept that themselves, then the truth is here. Mm. So you can see how people are being revealed now, left, right and centre, you know, in the, um, the music industry, celebrities and, you know, a lot of things are being exposed. Um, the, the, you know, the monarchies of the world, they're not as special as they mm. used to be anymore. Um, yeah, so mm. that time is happening, it's here. And it started from 1970 when mm. the Seventh Seal were opened by Mikhail um, Murduk. Murdoch, Tahuti. Tahuti. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, happy. So, yeah, it's about your mental, your state as well. Like, the way we think, um, we can manifest and make mm. anything happen. If we keep thinking negative, like you say, the small elite are ruling the masses and um, it shouldn't be possible because, you know, you can't have a 100 people... Mm ruling nearly 7 billion people on the planet. So yes, when we come together and stop the wars, the fighting and all the, you know, the things that bring about chaos, mm. the quicker we will get to that utopia. All right. Uh, happy to know that you are reading the comments. My question is, why would Thoth choose to incarnate in a being who he knew would be in prison for such Genius acts. What is he doing to aid humanity from jail? Okay, the first thing mm -hmm. about these types of questions is that you can't be in the mind of such a mm -hmm. being to know why they chose to do something in a particular way. Because if the being is that advanced and that smart, then there must be a plan or a strategy to the things that are happening. Even though from our perspective, we may look at it like that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make mm. sense, you know, but just just wait and see. And being accused of something doesn't mean that you are guilty of That's it. Right. And um, when you're saying, what is he doing from, from jail? It's actually amazing <laughs> because before he was incarcerated, mm. he only had about 400 books out. Yeah. And now there's over a thousand. thousand so yeah. he's done more from being inside <laughs> than being outside. And he's perfected <laughs> our language from being inside. Mm. He's put out information to the world that no one can claim came from them. Because you hear people sometimes saying he's plagiarizing books and things like that. But as we say, if he is Tahuti as he says he is, mm. right? And it's, it's in this book, in this scroll. I can read it from the first page. Um, I'll just read the, um, the first paragraph. Author's note. I have, devoted, I have devoted my visit to this planet, to the resurrection of the mentally dead, which I affectionately refer to as mummies. Mm. Never did I know that the evil one had done such a great job with these people, both mentally and physically, as to have them hate self and kind. My greatest dilemma and hindrance has been the black devil. Born amongst you and by you, married to you, socialising with you, praying in the same sacred houses of worship as you, but secretly they have a spiritual pact with the devil, which makes it near impossible for them to totally surrender to Wu Saban, Unwapu. But for the few chosen from the many called, I sift to find those beings that wish to become one with the Supreme in all. So I, this is the bit you need to pay attention to, the Supreme Grand Harafant, Amun Nubi Re Akta, as I am known throughout the mystical schools, the incarnation of Tahuti, 
Thoth, student of the great tomb, known as Atumre, the first point of resurrection from ignorance to the right knowledge, the right wisdom, and the right understanding. I have blended in with each of the religions most interesting to my people. I lived as one of them, practiced as one of them, in order to reveal the misconceptions of these doctrines that have plagued and diseased the minds of people. I'm not going to read the rest. I'm just letting you know. He says it himself mm. that he's Tahuti. And so we can't think or be in the mind of that being That's to right. answer the question you're saying. Why this? Why that? Mm. All right. Um, so he's, yeah, he's, he's done a lot from being inside, as I said, perfecting our language, giving us our way, the Pataruk, um, and so much more. And that's just to show you, you can't stop that type of a being regardless of where he is. Yeah. Of course, we want him, it's an SOS, we want him out mm. immediately. And, you know, do your best to help that. You know, go to freedoctoryork.com and support any, you know, efforts to get him out as opposed to sitting back and saying, Mm. Why is he there? Yeah, just sp just spread the word. Spread his um, buy the books, share them. That's it. You just need to um, wake people up to this doctrine and who this man is. Okay, let's move on. Um, oh, some vision. I heard Master Teacher acknowledge Billy Meyer in one of his live teachings. Mayor Pleiadians teach that Emmanuel Jesus didn't die. He was treated treated in the cave and taken out of a tunnel system out the back of the caves, not known by many, but a few of his lady followers. He was then taken to Kashmir and lived out his days peacefully, still teaching and bearing children. What can Wusabat teach us about this line of history specifically? Yes, that is... It's funny, look at that. Mm. Once again, I've done it. I, I, picked, I picked the right scrolls. This scroll, so the point you're making is that the real trinity, there are mm. three different Jesuses that are spoken about and their story is intertwined into one story. Mm. And you have Yahshua, who is the son of Gabriel and Mary and Joseph, Mm -hmm. It's a three-parent birth, yep, yep. <laughs> all right? And then you have Bar their son. Mm -hmm. Bar Jesus. Bar Jesus. Acts 13, 6. That's right. Acts 13, 6 talks about Bar Jesus. You know that because the word Bar is a he, it's an Egyptian word, really, mm. and it's, it means son. So you're literally saying son of Jesus. And then the third Jesus character being Cleophus, right? The son of... Mark Antony and Cleopatra. And Cleopatra. So as I explained um, in one of the videos, um, there are three different timelines for their three different mm -hmm. people. And one of them, yes, did go to um, India mm -hmm. and he started to dabble in the Kabbalah and sorcery. And this is the one they talk about being a sorcery in the Bible. Sorcerer. Sorry. Yeah, false, um, false prophet and a sorcerer. Yeah, they called him a false prophet and a sorcerer. Um, and yes, the real one was disguised as a gardener. He transfigured Judas on the cross to mm -hmm. look like him, mm -hmm. but it wasn't him. And he basically, when the time period had elapsed where he, he went back to himself as Judas, they took him and hung him. And in the Bible, they tell you that he went away by himself and hung himself, mm. which doesn't make <laughs> sense because who was watching and recording this? And then, um, so yes, they, they then smuggled him, as I mentioned, through um, the caves. And the ladies you're talking about would be his wife, Mary Magdalene, Magdalene yep. and Martha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they did smuggle him and went through to France and... Um, the Knights Templar and certain, mm. you know, brotherhoods were involved in maintaining that secrecy. And yes, he eventually went and ended up in India, I'm sorry, in Egypt. Egypt. Um, and as the story goes, died on top of the step pyramid. The step pyramid. Yeah. All right. So yes, there's some truth in that. 
um, even though not entirely accurate. Okay, let's move on. Uh, we're almost running out of time. We thank you so much, brother, for your hard work. I'm learning so much as you answer all people's questions with so much respect. I really want to be more like you. Ah, oh. <laughs> you touched my heart. No, try to be like the master teacher. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. um, you know, we are all student teachers and the way to be like us is to study, to read the books, to um, become a part of the community and actually put that to work in service of helping other people. I mean, yeah, I think if you, if you love um, self, your race, or humanity, nature, life, you would do anything or everything in your power to try and make things better mm. for humanity. And this is what the Master Jesus has done. He's trying to make things better for us. Yeah. Each one, teach, teach one, one yeah. you know, and um, do your part, you know, do your part. If everybody just did a little bit um, in terms of caring, mm. loving, sharing, we, you know, the world would be a better place. That's right. King Christopher Okoli, greetings and thank you for all the questions you have answered thus far. I've seen all the episodes and will do my best when asking my questions. Um, yeah, I think we need Netflix to hit us up. Mm. What are you saying? I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> He's watched every episode. That's good, man. That's, that's good. Because there's a lot of information and lots of hours of, uh, of footage. But yeah, so um, one, as a nine ether being, does my vibration lower if I have sexual relationship with a six, seven, or eight ether being? Um, the simple answer is yes. yes. Question two. Because, yeah, we can't just say yes and leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're exchanging energy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And um, someone is taking and someone is receiving. And if you're higher, then you're dropping down. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you do. Um, you do. Um, in episode seven or eight, you mentioned that Less than 10% of the Bible is necessary or relevant information. Is the book of Revelation a part of the relevant information? Yes, it is. Are crafts really coming to pick up 144,000? And is there a way to know if you are one of the chosen to be picked up by a craft? Not coming, they mm. have come. Yeah. Um, but there are other crafts coming. Um, different crafts are coming for different people. And people are trying to prepare them, you know, for, for that. Um, but the, the, the rapture, as it's referred to, or as the raptoid, mm. this happened already um, in Alaska in Nome. And there's a movie called The Fourth Kind. Mm, yep. That document, it's a documentary movie, meaning that what you see is actual footage of an incident that took place where crafts came and took 144,000 people for food, for the gods. Mm. And um, the reason is because Nome is like six months of the year, it's in darkness, and another six months is, you know, not in darkness. So that, that story is already um, something that has taken place, as I mentioned a lot of people think the book of Revelations is things to come, but a lot of the things have already happened. And um, the Natharu and, you know, the, the seeds or the children of the Natharu, they have their own pickups, you know, and these have, Vortex is open every 10... 10, mm -hmm. ten years, yeah. Every 10 years, um, since the Philadelphia experiment, experiment yeah. um, which, uh, 1943? Mm-hmm. And um, so since then, 53, 63, 73, 83, 93. What's the next one? 2003. 2003. 2013. 2013. And 2023, yeah. which was last year. And um, yeah, so Vortex is open and yes, crafts come. There are crafts actually already up waiting and some of them are hiding in the um the, the Lorange point the Lorange point yeah yeah where where you know they they're hidden from the naked mm. eye or from 
shall I say, spying eyes or prying eyes with telescopes and so on. So, yes, um, how do you know if you are one of the chosen ones? Well, you don't until that, that time. Mm. And this is one of the reasons why you need to get yourself involved with Wu Sabat because Parnabab Yanun, he's the keeper of that list um, of who will make it and who won't make it. So your best bet is to get yourself in tune, clean yourself inside out as he teaches us, practice Wu Sabat and you'll be doing your best towards that. I mean, he's reality. always said, um, visualize yourself as well. And then once you visualize yourself, Keep doing the works, keep doing the keep works. Make it happen. Yeah, make it happen. The fact that you don't even mind being taken up is uh, mm. a good thing because <laughs> there are some people that be like, who, me? I'm not getting nowhere near no craft or no extraterrestrials. So that's good. Um, once again, thank you. Thank you for all that you are doing and free the master teacher. Yes, indeed. Yes. Um, I'm a big fan of the channel. I support this channel, part one. The question I have is, how can I use the true power of the sense as in clairvoyance, telepathy, remote viewing, etc.? Part two, is it possible for certain people to possess knowledge of info about things they can't explain until it happens? Absolutely. Mm. Yes, um, you have to realize clairvoyance is it means clear vision. Mm. So if you're able to see things clearly um, and you're visionary, you're able to see things before they happen, then that should be something you use to your advantage. Telepathy is the ability to communicate mind to mind without any wires. Or oh, uh, vocal, yeah. Yeah, or, you know, vocal. So that's, again, something that, you know, is very useful. You could be in a situation and you can speak to somebody mind to mind. Yeah, remote viewing, all these powers, all these things, um, yeah, are, you know, the higher senses that, you know, we, we once had. And because of, um, you know, losing the removal of the barathry gland, you know, you've been maimed, but these are things we are now developing back. So you should um, do your best to enhance them. And you do that by be more disciplined with your spiritual practices, with your diet, with being in the right environment, with Wu Sabat. Yeah? Um, how are we doing for time? Okay, we've got, yeah, let me see if there are quick ones we can answer. The more I study, I realise I don't know. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> this is what we're saying, like, there's so much out formation into information, shaking my head. I stopped answering questions that people would ask me for this very reason. Every layer I peel back, every stone I turn over, there's another mystery to discern. This seems to be no end. <laughs> so true. <laughs> yeah, but, but that's not for you to give up. Yeah. Don't give up because um, you seek knowledge from mm. cradle to grave. Um, yeah, I mean, if you don't keep going and don't develop, you're just going to become stagnant mm. and you're going to not develop. So we need up, to keep we need to keep upgrading, upgrading, upgrading yeah. ourselves. That's it. That's right. That's how we improve. And remember, you're only using what ten or less mm. percent of your brain capacity at the moment. So you have still got a lot, ninety percent to go. So you can do it. Um, how does the extraterrestrial get in and out of Earth's atmosphere if NASA says that we've never left this planet? Do they come in through portals they create or is there a place on Earth to get in and out to other planets, etc.? Thanks. Don't believe the hype. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe what NASA no. tells you. What does NASA mean? Never a straight answer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Never a straight, a straight answer. answer. Yeah, but they're, they're politicians <laughs> and they're, they're getting caught up because they've got green screens and everything, faking it like, yeah. you know, they, they film things underwater when they're being trained and then they put green screens to you know, <laughs> pretend they're in, you know what I mean? But um, on a serious note, yeah, there, there, there are different ways to travel. We've mentioned before, mm. you have to realise you can travel 
intergalactically, that's from galaxies to galaxies, but you can also travel interdimensionally. Yeah. yeah, so you can portals can be opened. They show you this in, in uh, movies mm. like... Um, even the, Predi the, the last Predator I watched, I, I watched a Predator today, like, yeah. these open up the portal, went through. Yeah, but, but you know, Stargate, mm. um, what's that one with the... Um, Was it Travellers? No, one Travelers? of the latest ones with uh, the Marvel movie. Ah. Oh. What's that movie? The one with um, where he, 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 he's doing Kung Fu and he comes out of the spirit. Oh, 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 oh Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange. Yeah, 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 Doctor yeah, Strange. yeah, yeah, yeah. You see them opening portals yeah. all the time. <laughs> like, um, yes, so they can travel interdimensionally, opening portals. They can vibrate and there are different openings, as we've said before. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the pyramids, they come and charge their crafts, even though they're not as effective as they used to be. You got um, Bermuda Triangle, mm, Devil's the, Triangle as well. Yeah, there are many different parts. Uh, Mount Chasta, a lot of people see crafts there. Mm. Um, so yes, they do. Don't don't believe what NASA is telling you. Yes, they do come through portals. Okay, we've covered that. As a musician, I am obsessed with frequencies and vibrations. Terence Howard spoke about disconnecting from the environment to travel through space. How would we go about that? Would we have to relearn negative frequencies to cancel them out? We have to leave Earth. These people are cuckoo. <laughs> 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 Laughing out loud. Um, yeah, there's a there's actually a recording of the master teacher explaining. Um, I can't remember the name of that one. Explaining how you travel through, um, you be, but you would need certain things to be able to do it, like the math cosette or what they mm. call the elixir of life. And we actually have a scroll um, called that the 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 math cosette, the elixir of life, that um, explains and goes into this and. Like Terence was explaining, you can't travel in the way that NASA is trying to do it because you, the distance mm. that you have to travel to um, and the different kind of like atmospheres you have to go through, man will not be able to travel in the way they're trying to with spaceships and things like that. Or if you do, you have to have certain types of crafts that are um, organic and they can basically travel at warp speed, bend speed, bend time, mm. and using something called expansion and contraction. These are the sciences that ma the master is breaking down in the master's secret. And, you know, so th the whole technology that's required to be able to travel at light speed, um, you know, to go, you know what I mean, light years away. And, and remember this as well, that... The way they travel, it's almost like everything has to be calculated. Mm. Like you have to wait for certain alignments to happen. So you go to a particular, like you might go to Mars and then wait and then jump to another planet. And it, there's a, a trajectory that you have to follow. And you have to miss things like asteroid belts and meteorites. Mm. There's so much to traveling that um, it's not as simple as a rocket ship going through to space, you know. So this is what Terence is saying, that his technology with the linchpin are the type of technologies that are going to make space travel possible. Um, okay, I hope that's answered your question. Um, I'm grateful. Is that a long, long just Okay. Pure facts. <laughs> I like that. Um, <laughs> I'm grateful and thankful for your knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that you have been able to answer. I appreciate you if other people don't continue to show love and give us the answer to our questions. Peace, love, and happiness to everyone on here. That's it, man. Like, you can't please everyone. Mm. <laughs> no matter what you do, you know, they are going to be those who love you and they are going to yep. be those who hate they, you um, because it's agreeable and disagreeable, positive, negative. negative. So... Mm. We, yeah, you have to just deal with those who get it. 
you know. Um, if you don't get it yet, you need to keep asking questions because Wusabat is the answer. And in time, more and more people will get to know because we don't just say things for the sake of it. A master teacher doesn't just put out information for the sake of it, mm. you know. He's way ahead of the time. Like I said on the last video, people that are talking information now is information he put out yeah. 30, 40 years ago. Yep. So where do you think he mm. is now mentally <laughs> with what he's teaching us, you know? So, yes, we, we appreciate your love. Or appreciate love your love, because mm. that hate word, they yeah. sneak it in there, in the tones. Mm. <laughs> Um, I had two questions. Is there any information that comes from the master teacher that you do not agree with? Has there been any information that he has given us in the past that ended up not being true or actual fact? I appreciate your taking the time out to answer our question. Much love and respect. Glad I found this channel. Good question. Mm. Um, what I would say, I can answer for myself and my brother yeah. will answer for himself. I would say that, no, there isn't any information that has come from the master teacher that I do not agree with. Mm. What I would say is there is information that I may not understand mm. and I have to wait for clarity. Mm. Um, so it may not make sense and, and I have to maybe reread and study and try and find other bits and pieces to connect it to make it make sense. Or I am patient and will wait for him to expound or clarify it. Because a lot of people will say that. But everything he has ever said, he has taken it in degrees. So you may think, oh, there's a mistake or there's something wrong. But then mm. when he clarifies it with more in-depth information, you realise that everything is right and exact and always <laughs> makes sense and adds up. Some people are just not patient enough to wait. What was the second part? Um, no, there's no information he's given in the past that has ended up not being true. And, and this is it. It's like he may have given you information in religion because you wanted information mm. in religion, but he will give it to you right and exact according to religion. Yeah. And then when he took us out of religion, he will now give you the updated yeah, information. Yeah. But um, if you're still thinking, I want to be caught up in religion, then you're not going to move on. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know if you want to add anything to that, because uh, the rest is just saying they appreciate yeah, what we yeah. do. Yeah, he's never left, led, led us astray. Everything, anything that he's taught, as he says, you can always research it. So, yeah. <laughs> this is a funny <laughs> question. I'm gonna, I think this is going to be the last one. What is your favourite soup to eat? And why is it your favourite? <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what you mean soup. There are different soup. types of soup. Are, are we talking about African soup? That, that's, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking African <laughs> soup. Because, yeah, I'm not talking about them tomato <laughs> soups from Sainsbury's or that. Oxtail uh, soup. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I'm, a, yeah. I'm a goosey. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, goosey I, I, I'm a vegetable, <laughs> like Efruru, if you know what that is. <laughs> Yeah, that is Ooh. my favourite soup. If you're talking about that type of yeah. soup. Um, but yeah, you'll have to be more specific. I feel like to answer one more now. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's Envision. What can Wu Sabat teach us about the teachings and diet of Dr. Sebi? Does it really heal these illnesses, cancer especially? And is that diet utilised by the culture? Please word your answer smartly because I know YouTube can be funny <laughs> on these subjects and it can get you shadowed. Much love and many thanks. Absolutely. The master teacher first recommended mm. and, and told us about Dr. Sebi. Um, you know, so... But if you just look at it from a scientific point of view, he explains that most ailments and diseases mm. are caused by mucus. Yeah. And when you eliminate mucus, then you kind of cure yourself of a lot of things. But further to that, you have to go cellular, yeah, mm. because your cells are what keep you alive. Because remember, we break down that you go from density to matter to atoms, yeah, mm -hmm. to, um, to cells, to organs, to bodies. So the cells are important and the cell has 
the life. Mm. Yeah, so um, if there's no life in the cell, then, then it's going to cause you ailments. So, yes, his, Dr. Sebi's teachings are about alkaline based. Alkaline based, yeah, yeah to the cells. Um, make sure your cells are vibrant and you can rejuvenate your cells, but you have to clean out the mucus. Mm. Most things you eat produce mucus, mucus in the brain, in the membrane, and mucus, um, a lot of things you eat um, produce mucus, even beer, you know, certain things that people put, drink. Um, yeah, so yes, an alkaline diet is much more favorable than an acidic one, and it, it maintains a, a, a healthy pH balance, mm. you know, because water is the perfect pH, right? So because it's alkaline, so yes, um, yeah, Dr. Sebi is, is a good guy. Oh, God, man. You know what? Every time I want to stop, this is, like, I see, I'll just say the last question. one. <laughs> we, all right, this is the last one. This is the last one. If so, if Anu is the most high, and every creator has a creator, who created him and his family? See, this is religious mm. uh, mindset. <laughs> Anu has parents. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, and and family, you know, his brother was Alalu, mm -hmm. um, Ansha, Keisha, yeah. uh, his parents, you see. So, it, 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 when we say creator, you might be thinking of a religious concept of God the creator. These beings are like you and me. They have... You know, they, they have offspring. Um, so, and remember, I explained, or we explained mm. in the previous video, that Anuj, the title, it just means the most high. Right. So yeah. the, the actual people are people that sit in that seat. And if you get um, a master secret we have called um, Pa Anunnaki, the biblical... Um, yeah, biblical race. And Quranic biblical race, race, yeah. yeah. You get that, it, ex it shows you the whole family tree and lineage of the different Anus. Even yeah. in um, Proverbs of Yanun, it goes into the Anunnaki yeah. family tree as well. Yeah. yeah, so if Anu is the Most High and every creator has a creator, who created him and his family? His parents and yeah. their parents, yeah. their mum and their dad, <laughs> like we say from the first <laughs> OSM video. Go back and watch that, mm. um, the first video we did, because we actually break a lot of this down. But that's the last one, unfortunately, we've come to the end. Um, but remember, get your questions liked so that the next episode, they move to the top and it will be addressed first. But yeah, as usual, we want to say love, peace and unity until the next episode. Tawakum. Tawakum. Spread the word. Wadu. Wadu. <laughs>